Several malnourished horses are on the road to recovery this afternoon. They were found abandoned and in poor health. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with more on how they're doing. Joe? Well, Elliot, all these horses were saved from almost sure death. Now, take a look. This is the latest brought in just this afternoon, found in Hialeah, malnourished, and we're told uh, somebody was trying to drive it with an ATV into a canal. But thankfully, all these horses, including this one, are on the mend tonight and now have a chance of getting a real home. It's painful to see a starved horse wasted away, its ribs, spine, and hip bones exposed. This is one of 11 malnourished horses Miami-Dade Police Ag Patrols found abandoned in southwest Miami-Dade in the past week. One was so sick it had to be euthanized. He was actually originally caught in Nevada. This horse wasn't so easy to corral. He's a Mustang that somehow ended up in South Florida 2,500 miles from home. This is the BLM symbol, the Bureau of Land Management. This symbol here is the year, his estimated year of birth, which is 1999. Most of the horses were left on vacant property in southwest Miami-Dade with little to eat or drink. Unfortunately, with all these ones that we've recently picked up, they've all been abandoned as far as we know, and there isn't, unfortunately, anybody to prosecute. The South Florida SBCA will slowly nurse each of these starved horses back to health. It's a long process, but they have a proven track record. This is a picture of Solo, an emaciated horse found abandoned in the Everglades and brought to the South Florida SBCA. This is Solo four months later. Veterinarian Carla Munoz is treating the horses. She says with proper food, they should all recover. The three horses brought in over the weekend were vaccinated. It's always unbelievable to me that People can just watch these animals get to this state. While these abandoned horses were discovered on routine patrol, many others are out of sight and facing starvation. Dr. Muno says anyone could mean the difference between life and death. Think of yourself. Would you, could you go a few days without water or without food? And these horses go a lot longer. If you see something, say something. That's what happened in this case. Somebody reported seeing this horse being mistreated, that it was malnourished, and they called authorities. So right now he's getting what he needs, badly, some food. Um, if you want to learn more about this organization taking care of these animals, we have the complete story on our webpage. Go to CBSMiami.com. In Southwest Miami Day tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Good